Today in Lightroom Classic, it's all about the Navigator. Welcome to the Visual Center. I'm Trent. And in today's post-production tips, we're going to continue our discussion all about Lightroom Classic, specifically the Navigator. So go ahead and open your software so you can follow along, and then let's take a look at my screen. Let's start here in the library module. If you move to this left side panel, at the very top you see something called the Navigator. Now if you don't see an image here, go ahead and drop this little arrow down next to the Navigator. Now what this image is, it's a reflection of whatever image I have selected here within my catalog. You see as I select other images, this image updates. Now the great thing about the Navigator is that there's actually embedded shortcuts within this part of the panel. Let me show you what I mean. So if I actually hover over my image and click, you notice that now I'm taken from grid view to loop view here in the image preview area. Now I can also click again, and you'll notice that I actually zoom in to my current previewed image. And you'll also notice that there's a white boundary box now here in the navigator. This white boundary box represents whatever area of the image I'm zoomed into. I can actually click and drag this white boundary box and move all around my image. I can even select other parts of my image and navigate quickly to that area. So this is why it's called the navigator. It's where you control your zoom and navigate throughout your image. Let's zoom back out by double clicking. Now you may have noticed there's a bit of text here in the top right corner of the navigator panel. First you see fit, 100%, and currently 50%. Now notice that fit is highlighted. This represents the amount of zoom you currently have set to your preview image area. So if I select 100%, you can see I'm zoomed in now 100% within my image preview area. Now what this 100% means is that it's a one-to-one -one representation of the resolution of your image. So depending on the resolution of your camera and the resolution of your screen, this amount of zoom may be different. Now you notice next to the 100%, there's also another uh, number. Now there's a double arrow next to that number and you can select a variety of numbers here within this dropdown. Let's go ahead and select 25%. And you notice I've now zoomed out of my image. I'm now looking at a 25% zoom of my current image. Now let's drop it down and select a 800% zoom. Now you can actually see the pixels within my image. This is a 800% zoom. Now please also be aware that the bounding box with my navigator preview image is much smaller because I'm viewing the image at 800%. Let's go back to 100%. The cool thing about the navigator is that whatever image zoom you had selected last is a sticky setting. I'll show you what I mean. So if I double click my preview image or double click here in the navigator, I'll zoom back out. Now if I go and select, let's say 400% zoom here in this dropdown, and I double click within the navigator panel again, I zoom back out. But notice, when I select again within the navigator image, I zoom back into 400%. So every time I make a different selection on this zoom amount, that amount of zoom is gonna be remembered. So let's go back to 100%. And now click again, zoom back out, now zoom back in. And now 100% is the current zoom amount. Now there's also a shortcut here within this panel. If I zoom into 100% and then I select 100%, I will be taken back to grid view. So select the image here in the navigator, take into loop view, select whatever text is highlighted here at the top of the navigator, and you'll go back to grid view. So loop view, grid view. Now the navigator is pretty much gonna be the same whether you're in the library module or the develop module. It will change depending on which module you're in beyond those two. Let's take a look at Navigator in the Develop module. You can see it's pretty much the same. I can zoom in, zoom back out, but now if I select whatever number is highlighted, nothing's going to change. Because in the Develop module, you can't use Grid View. All right, this is all you really need to know about the Navigator. It's a great place to be able to control the zoom and the navigation throughout your image while you're editing in Lightroom Classic. Be sure to subscribe so you can follow along with our next video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.